hospital. You're at the Kaiser Hospital? Yeah. You had a little heat stroke. Just, you got overheated and dehydrated. So, um, yeah, you're gonna be okay. You'll probably be able to go home by tomorrow. But for now, we'll just check your chart. Yeah, your, your friends dropped this off. Um, they're really nice. They're a little bit bolted because they got here this morning and it's very hot today, as you know. So, just see. Ah, this, this, this. Okay, here we go. Just, just read that. Signature, um, just because you, you know, you were unconscious when you came in, so you basically need to just clear everything down, get it sorted with your insurance. Let's check your IVs. It's just Dr. Valentine's Day, so they probably just thought that would be, you know, it's available. Do you, do you have a significant other that may have sent that? Or are they just a friend? That's so sweet. How long have you guys been together? Yeah. Okay. I'm not writing that down. I'm just checking on your everything. Here, let me just... How's your forehead? It's a little warm. Maybe we can try and get them to turn uh, turn up the AC in here. So, okay, everything looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna just sign this. Here you go. Very good. And here as well. Here. Very good. And I'm gonna need your initial. I'm gonna need your initial here. There you go. Alright. Okay. That should be good. It's really well. I'm just pardon me if I'm overstepping boundaries, but it said that you have an adventure time tattoo. Can I see it? Like, is it so Oh, it's on your arm. Oh, yeah. I love Marceline. I'm, I'm a real big fan of the show, actually. Who's your... She, so she's your favorite character when you have her on a tattoo, so I assume... Yeah? Okay. I think you might need a new bag. Soon, a new IV. I just needed to check a couple more things. So, okay. Okay, now tell me this dessert. No, okay. What about this? No. Okay. Let me just get over here and just this dessert. A little bit. You might look a little bit out of it still. Just follow the band with your eyes. Okay. Now look at me. And. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you look a little. You still look a little out of it. Well, that might be the medication they have you on. Just. history of um, heat sensitivity.
activity in your family. Okay. Do you mind if I drink this? Um, I brought it with me and it's, there's a little bit more that I have to take care of. Say that you're on anti-anxiety meds. Okay, that might have something to do with your sensitivity. Sometimes Some medications can uh, they can mess with your with your body and how it uh, operates. So, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna squeeze your arm. Okay. doing um before you passed out okay and what were you doing oh, were you drinking any water no okay. definitely have to drink drink water when um, you're exercising like that yeah even just a walk you know some people it's just all that you know it's all within what they can handle Okay. Now, um, do you often exercise? Like, what would you say is your regular um, exercise level? Um, yeah, that could do it. If you're not very active, then when you start being active, especially in the heat like this, it can definitely get um, a little messy. You want to definitely make sure you have water with you um, and make sure that you're well hydrated well hydrated before you go outside. Um, and you should wear um, like a hat to protect your head from the sun and wear nice breezy clothes. Yeah, okay. Where were you, where were you walking? Just out of curiosity, just because there's this one place that I go to where, um, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. There's flowers, not quite like these, but kind of close. And there's just um, this beautiful pathway, and the pathway is just gorgeous. It is, you can just see like the mountains in the background, and you can see the lake, and so there's these trees, and there's like little squirrels, little squirrels like um, climbing up the trees, and they jump from the trees. to drop off your anti-anxiety meds. So right now they're in a, um, a locker to keep 
safe because um, we don't like we don't want them to steal them or you know have things they're not supposed to have. So we're just gonna need a confirmation. So we'll have to call your your psychiatrist and confirm um, that the medication that you're allowed to have it that it's prescribed. Everything's fine. So um, could you just uh, write down fill out this form for me? prescription here and right next to it the dose. 300 milligrams, good. Um, and then your address, please. Oh, I need to just fix this. Just a second here. Uh, okay. Oh, hold on a second. things about Dr. Flynn. Um, do you like him? He's okay. Yeah, he can be a little, a little bit intimidating at first, but he's a very good doctor. Um, and he actually works really well with our patients and listens to them and um, really works with them on, uh, on their treatment. I know there are some psychiatrists who just kind of give out medications and they don't really listen to the patients, but Dr. Flynn is a very good He's actually a longtime friend of mine. I've known him probably, you know, maybe five years now. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely a good doctor. So, I'm, it's pretty exciting that you're with him. It's good to see an old friend doing well. your psychiatrist and uh, told Dr. Flynn and he verified everything so you'll be able to get your anxiety meds, um, your anti-anxiety meds in just about an hour. Um, just because they have to, you know, the pa paperwork has to get passed through the hospital. Or okay, so, um, and uh, your mother said that she would be here. Um, you'll be released tomorrow um, because it is getting a little bit late. 
and you can probably use some rest. And we want to make sure that you're stable before we let you go home. Because, um, uh, you had a heat stroke, which is very, very dangerous. Um, we need to make sure that you're okay and that there's no complications. So, you're gonna go home, uh, tomorrow. And your mother said she'll pick you up. It'll be around two, no promises, but, you know, we do our best, so. Okay. And, uh, everything should be sorted. You just need to get some rest. If you want some TV, they can turn the TV on for you. And, um, if uh, you wanted something to eat, lunch is going to be ready in about 15 minutes, so it's going to be, like, you know, just a sandwich. You can either have turkey or you can have PB&J. Um, and it's, it's grape jam, but you know, it's good. Uh, so, and I also give you apples, um, and graham crackers and some juice. Would you, so I can tell them if you want, if you want apple or orange juice. You want apple juice, okay. Is there anything else I could do for you to make you more comfortable while you're here? Ah, oh, you need some new blankets, okay. Okay, yeah. It is actually, you know, ever since I turned these, yep, it is a little bit chilly. They kind of, you know, want to bounce out outside, but it's getting kind of cold, so, uh, ironically, but I'll get you some heated blankets if you want. Because, yeah, they did turn, it, turn up the AC, but it is really cold in here. It seems like it's either one or the other. Okay, so enjoy your rest, enjoy your lunch, enjoy your flowers, enjoy your juice, your apple juice, and the clicker for the TV, it's at the nurse desk. If you just say, hey, nurse, then they'll come over and they'll bring it to you. Okay, 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 it's been a pleasure seeing you, and uh, I'll be checking you again tomorrow morning to make sure that you're um, looking okay, and make sure that your vitals are all regular and everything. Um, throughout, throughout the rest of the day and night, the, There'll be some nurses who'll come in and just check your pulse and check your heart rate and everything, so. Um, don't worry about that. Just stick your arm out. Just be compliant. And it's not going to be a big deal. You'll fall right back asleep. Okay. Okay. Alright. I think that is all that I need for now. So, um. Okay. Again, I'm Dr. Smith. And it was nice seeing you. Okay. Okay. Alright. You have a good rest. Rest up. Drink lots of water when you get home. If you exercise, make sure to be very protected from the sun. Lots of water. And uh, you're going to be okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. You get some rest.